Denver Black and Trent Graybo here with Soilcraft. Um, we're in a lush, green, growing potato field in a hot but starting fall day, right? We can we woke up this morning, there's chill in the air, sun's starting to angle, it's feeling like fall. And so, you know, I farm for many years and my body, my mind is like, ah, it's about time to rest, <clears throat> relax. The year's over, you know. But we think, what, at Soilcraft, the year's just beginning, right? So we want, to, we want to encourage everybody to think about the fall differently. The fall isn't the end in so many ways, it's the beginning. It, this is in a lot of ways when we really start to build biology. We have, what we'll have is crop residues that go from this nice green lush pretty quick to dead and needing to decay. And so um, in a crop like potatoes, you know, again, it's green, but yeah, look at that. So this is all stubble, right? Decomposition. Decomposing wheat stubble, nice, good, white decomposing stubble. And and that's what we want to, to, to you to think of is at the end of the crop, we want we have an opportunity here to, to break this down, to mineralize it, to feed the biology, and and to to turn this into the next next year's next crop's food source. And so right now is one of the best times to do that. And I mean what what do we do about that, Trent? I mean, what, what do you see successful in the crops you manage this time of the year and, and why? As far as? As far as what, we, what you would do in the fall, and I say it's the start of the season, and we need well, to be doing something, what do we do? Ultimately, all of this plant material that we're looking at, obviously this being a potato field, is gonna get tore up for the most part and incorporated. Um, and so we have a whole bunch of being green like this, this is going to basically be more bacterial food because it's, you know, has quite a bit of nitrogen in it, not a lot of carbon. So this is going to decompose and disappear fairly quickly. But more lignified material that has a lot of cellulose, more carbon, less nitrogen, is going to take a lot more energy to break down. And we want that to turn into nutrition. We want that to turn into food. We want that to turn back into nitrogen, potassium, phosphorus, everything that made it, we want to be available for the next crop. And to do that, we have to have active biology. And so what we're gonna attempt to do, and we've been doing, is apply microbial stimulants, specific organisms, bacteria and fungi that break down plant residue into stable humus and stable carbon and back into the mineral nutrition that it took to grow that and so we'll combine that with liquid carbon sources things like molasses carbohydrate sources enzymes fish based materials with protein and oils all of those things combined with some calcium is going to feed and stimulate all of the soil biology that's in this ground to break down all this residue and recycle it for the next crop for next year and if we start now in the fall we're going to be way further ahead than if we wait till next spring because those bacteria some of them will work all winter depending yeah. on how far it freezes how deep they go um and if there's some level of cover which there might not be in this field unless they get a crop planted which hopefully they'll put probably weed in here after this there'll be some active root exudates from that small crop that comes up in the fall and so that's going to stimulate all of those organisms we're going to help that process so that mineralization happens much much faster so to speak than not inoculating and the results are going to be more available nutrition more nitrogen conversion next year they'll that also all those organisms that break down plant residue will also reduce the amount of pathogen load that this field potentially could have going into the next crop site. Oh, the weed seeds and yep, all kinds of things. I mean, really we're thinking about, hey, let's come in and give it a salmon dinner and a little sweet dessert. We'll come, yeah. <laughs> come in and give it some some fish hydrolysate and some, yeah. some molasses and some other, so some other microbial biostimulants to give them a big fat meal to put them to bed. And, not to say that, I mean, this is, I mean, this is some of the best microbial food there is, is crop residue. But again, especially in some instances, like where we're talking about wheat straw, where you have a very high 
carbon load, we might come in with some fall nitrogen along with the, the, the food source. And why that's important is look, food, the microbes are in a lot of ways like us. And they like to eat whole meals. They, they really don't thrive on salt-based fertilizers. They, they can't hold it and the soils can only have, hold so much. So if we come in and build a larger bacterial and fungal population in the fall by stimulating it, well that will hold us over and continue working and actually even keep warmer soils and, and keep more interaction with the plants. So in the spring, whether it's a crop, a fall planted crop or whether it's the crop you're going to plant, it'll be more ready and receptive. Ultimately, what we're talking about is building the foundation. Yeah, that's good. If we don't build a foundation and then we go in and try to build a structure, it's going to collapse. And so we're trying to build that foundation and that starts in the fall, not in the spring like most people think. So as you can hear, there's a lot more going on than we typically give credit to or think about in the fall. And, um, and that can sound like just a whole bunch of stuff. But what, that, what that really means for, for us and for our growers is a custom blended uh, microbial biostimulant food source in the fall that we bring to you that you apply it somewhere between, um, you know, a five to 10 gallon per acre rate um, over the crop residues in the fall to, to accelerate that decomposition and prepare, prepare your soils for the fall and really boost your microbial population. And, and doing that, especially in, in the Pacific Northwest where we are and we have short growing seasons, I think is really key. It's very important. We have a very little decomposition time and sometimes it'll stay dry into the fall and then it gets too cold and we get snow and the decomposition hasn't had a chance to happen. And so we find stacking the deck, really accelerating that decomposition as much as we can in the fall helps so that when we hit spring, there's, there's less of that to do so that the crop is ready to grow. And one of the biggest things I think we've seen even this year from doing this last year with new growers was the amount of um, nitrogen conversion. So for example, yeah. on a lot of those grass fields and things with one of your growers, there was oh, plenty of nitrogen. So one That's of the right. benefits of doing a fall soil primer is you're going to need less nitrogen next spring nitrogen when efficiency. you start your crops. And so that right there in and of itself will easily pay for the cost of applying a fall soil primer. Yeah, That's good. That's right. So anyways, give us a call. Uh, we'd love to talk fall soil primers, how to do that, stimulation, etc. Um, yeah, thanks for joining us.